There has been a lot that has happened throughout the history of the United States. All the events can be overwhelming at first glance, but breaking them down and making connections between them can help with success in your APUSH course and exam. So let's do a quick rundown of the major events that led up to the American Revolution and see how they're all connected. We'll start our road to the Revolution in the colonies at the French and Indian War that occurred from 1754 to 1763. This war was a North American conflict over land between France and Britain. Both sides, but especially the French, relied on their relationships with Native Americans throughout the entire war. But France ended up losing and gave up most of its land in North America to Britain. But Britain didn't leave unscathed because they went in debt due to the war. Now that they had all this new land, British colonists naturally wanted to move west. But in 1763, King George III signed the Proclamation of 1763, which prevented colonists from settling west of the Appalachian Mountains. This was really the first thing that had been enforced in the colonies, and it ended salutary neglect, which really didn't sit right with the colonists. Because Britain went broke after the French and Indian War, they needed to do something to get out of that debt. So in 1764, Parliament signed the Sugar Act, which aimed to decrease smuggling by decreasing the molasses tax. But they also ended up increasing the enforcement of those taxes on colonist exports, which was never strictly enforced before this. Then, in 1765, the Stamp Act was signed. This put a tax on all printed items in the colonies. In fact, it was the first direct tax Britain put on the colonies, which really made the colonists mad. So, of course, they boycotted, and sometimes even violently, until the act was repealed a year later. But Parliament doubled down, and in 1766, in the Declaratory Act, they declared it could tax and make laws for the colonies. So they kept on, and in 1767, the Townsend Acts were enacted. These put taxes on British goods like textiles, lead, paper, and tea that were imported into the colonies. And it sent British troops to enforce the taxes. Of course, colonists continued to boycott because they thought it was taxation without representation. Because the troops were in town, tensions between them and the colonists began to rise. And in 1770, the Boston Massacre, which was a fight between the colonists and the British troops, occurred. Four colonists died, and obviously this only increased those tensions. But the taxation continued, and the colonists were still mad, especially in Boston, so some of them decided to boycott in a major way. And in 1773, some colonists dumped a lot of British tea into the Boston Harbor. Well, this made Parliament really mad, and in 1774, the Coercive Acts, or the Intolerable Acts as they were known to the colonists, were signed. These were four acts that primarily closed Boston Harbor, gave legal immunity to British officials in North America, prohibited town meetings, and forced the colonists to house troops in their own homes. So because of the tensions that were caused by all the acts and all the boycotts, Finally, the first battle of the American Revolution began at Lexington and Concord in 1775, which became known as the shot heard round the world. And in 1776, the colonists declared their independence by signing the Declaration of Independence, and the revolution raged on. So because of the debt Britain got into after the French and Indian War, they enforced taxes and laws on the colonists that the colonists didn't always see as fair, which caused a buildup of tensions until the war broke out. I hope this road to the revolution helped guide you in your study. Look out for more videos about events throughout the entire history of the United States. Tell us what events you would like us to dive into in the comments below.